Hi, I'm Chef Spencer Gray, and welcome to Omnivorous, the web blog series that is a companion to my food blog, also called Omnivorous, which you'll find at spencerhgray.com. Today, I'm joined by my son. I'm Bennett. I'm eight years old, and I love French toast. <laughs> so today, we're making French toast. What's so special about this French toast, buddy? It's covered with frosted flakes. Do you like frosted flakes? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. So okay. let's make it. So the first thing to do is to cut the challah bread for the French toast. I like challah bread because it's kind of sweet, and I can get nice, big, thick slices of it. It'll be fantastic for the French toast. I'm going to do that. So Bennett, can you crush the frosted flakes? Yes. All right. Well, try to crush it up evenly. You can even use your fists like that if you want, OK? Good. And so I'm just going to cut nice, thick slabs. And I'm going to cut them in half like that, OK? Can you pour it into the glass pan for me? OK, dump it right in there. Perfect. Now the next thing to do is to make the milk and egg mixture that we're going to dip our bread in to make the French toast. I need you to crack four eggs into this milk, and then we're going to get it all stirred up. I'm going to add a little cinnamon and a little bit of vanilla extract as well, OK? So when you crack an egg, you crack it sideways, hard, and then you pry it open like that with your fingers. OK? That's good. Perfect. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon and just a tiny bit of vanilla extract to this. That's probably good, that's about a half teaspoon. And I like a little pinch of salt because nothing that's sweet is any good without a little bit of salt to it. All right, now beat this up with a whisk. Be sure to break up the yolks. Good. So now we have to make the dredge so we can crust our French toast with the frosted flakes and then cook the French toast. Now why don't you pour the egg and milk mixture in here and then grab two pieces of bread and soak them really nicely on both sides. Now we'll drop the pieces in here into the frosted flakes. Now when you do this, you really want to get nice coverage on your frosted flakes. So really what I like to do is I like to really press it in there. So it really creates a nice even coat. Excellent. Now you can put it over there and we're going to cook it in just a second. So I've got a pan that's already hot. A non-stick skillet is really the best way to go. And I'm going to put a little butter in there. Let's say about a tablespoon of butter. And we're going to let that melt. So I'd say it's going to take about two minutes a side to really get where you want. You want a medium hot pan with a lot of butter. I mean, you're having frosted flake French toast. Don't be afraid of a little butter. Why don't you just lean in and flip these for me, okay? Can you do that? <laughs> Good. Excellent. All right, our French toast is done now, Bennett. Here we go. Doesn't that look fantastic? Ooh, that looks great. See, I like it when it's got a little bit of that brownie char on it. <laughs> me too. I could like it. Okay, why don't you do me a favor and pour some of that maple syrup on it, and we're going to try it. You can have that piece, I guess. Okay. What do you think? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm, really good. Mmm. So what do you think of the French toast, Bennett? It was really yummy. <laughs> it was totally yummy. Thanks for watching today. I hope you had a good time. Try to make this at home sometime. Always try to cook with your kids. It's really great for them. It's a lot of fun for you. And we'll see you next time.